the genesis for developing ASCpedia and our asset library was to really unlock digital assets that were on individual hard drives and machines locked away from the greater community. With the development of ASCpedia, we've created a central library of digital artifacts that are available for reference, research, and educational purposes. Our members supply test results and guidance critical to the clinical care team. So TSG helped ASCP implement their Alfresco system to store and manage these this large amounts of high high resolution digital images that pathologists use and train on every day. ASCP has been a great long-term client of both TSG and Alfresco. They really do some creative things with digital images that we just don't see from other clients. So we're really excited to be working with them not just on their day-to-day -day activities, but some of the stuff we can do as, as we look forward to the future. What I find most interesting about working with ASCP is the ability for us to interact with really unique pieces of content. This is not using the standard out-of-the-box interface. It is something that is much more unique to their business process. We're really excited about what we've done for this first little proof of concept with ASCP on machine learning. And have found some obvious advantages of leveraging it for the day-to-day -day classification of digital images that are often very large and very difficult to analyze. For instance, it's either a virtual slide, or it's a chart, or a graph, or an x-ray. Going forward, you'll see ASCpedia used in more online education as it relates to digital pathology. As the FDA continues to approve new digital pathology vendors, you'll see a change in the laboratories from traditional glass to digital slides. We do see lots of opportunities for machine learning, and AWS and Alfresco and as well as TSG to improve efficiencies and abilities of folks to do more with their digital images.